Almost everyone is searching for the truth, but no one has ever found it or may be hidden. There are 10 mysteries around space that no one can explain. Let's dig it out. Hello everyone. This is AWZ. Welcome to our channel. Don't forget to subscribe. Enjoy. Mystery of Space Scientists and astronomers spend all day, every day, looking over data in search of answers to the numerous problems posed by the universe. However, they will be the first to concede that understanding space is extremely challenging, if not altogether unattainable, at least for our finite intellect. Since not even the most knowledgeable individuals have a complete understanding of what goes on in the great beyond, it is only natural that those who live on Earth have many unanswered questions about this topic. You'll find the most mind-bogglingly confusing information in this section. 1. How extensive is the observable universe? Those who dozed off during the astronomy class can benefit from the following review. There are around nine planets that orbit around our sun, which is technically a star. More on that in a bit. Solar systems are the collective names given to groups of stars and planets like these. Galaxies are the collective names given to groups of solar systems. It is generally accepted that the Milky Way, the galaxy in which we find ourselves, has approximately 200 billion solar systems. Researchers have estimated that there are approximately 150 billion galaxies in the observable universe, which refers to the portion of the cosmos that we are able to see with our own eyes. To tell you the truth, it is possible to continue on and on and on and on and on, but I think you get the picture. In point of fact, a group of scientists at Oxford University recently put out a hypothesis that estimates the universe is at least 250 times larger than that. In order to put the resultant number into perspective, let's say that it contains more zeros than we are allowed to type here without causing your web browser to crash. And this only includes galaxies. Just trying to wrap one's head around how that number relates to solar systems, let alone planets, is enough to drive anyone's mind completely insane. Two, where exactly is Planet Nine located? According to scientific definitions, Pluto is not a planet. However, this does not necessarily imply that there are only eight planets in our solar system. Many researchers in the field of science are of the opinion that our region of space may be home to a ninth planet that has not yet been found. There are certain oddities to be found in the orbital trajectories of distant astronomical entities like Uranus and Neptune if one is paying attention to those motions. The most likely explanation is that one enormous gravitational entity, like a planet, is causing everything to be out of whack somewhere in the universe. According to Konstantin Badijan, an assistant professor of planetary science at the California Institute of Technology, the possibility that we have not found evidence of life on other planets may be due to the fact that we have not looked hard enough still. Planet 9 is referred to as because it is so shockingly dim. We believe that even with the most advanced telescopes available, we would only be able to see it very faintly. 3. Can you explain what black holes are? There is still a great deal that is unknown about black holes, which are structures that resemble galaxies and have gravity levels that are so strong that everything, including light, is dragged into them. According to some estimates, the Milky Way alone could be home to as many as 100 million different kinds of black holes. However, we do not understand how they are created, what they do, or, most importantly, what happens when matter travels through one of them. Four, which came first, the galaxy or the supermassive black hole? When exactly black holes came into being in the first place is one of the topics that has physicists scratching their heads. 
astronomers have conducted research in which they have examined radio frequency photographs that reveal data on early galaxies. Their findings show that black holes may have started their start at an earlier time. Chris Carilli, a researcher at the National Radio Astronomy Observatory in Socorro, New Mexico, and one of the report's authors, stated that the significant implication is that the black holes formed first and then somehow they formed a stellar galaxy around them. This was one of the findings of the report. Five, can you explain what dark matter is? We don't really know what this stuff is, but scientists estimate that dark matter may make up around 25% of the overall universe. Dark matter is a substance that works in a manner similar to that of a spider's web, binding the planets, stars, and galaxies together. There is abundant proof that it does in fact exist, yet the nature of this thing remains a complete unknown. Is it possible that it is a combination of particles that have not yet been found? Is it possible that this is a previously undiscovered aspect of gravity? No one's sure. Six, can you explain what dark energy is? The term dark energy was coined by a team of astrophysicists in the 1990s after they discovered that the expansion of the universe was accelerating due to the presence of some kind of substance that was working against the gravitational pull. Theories diverge on its nature, despite the fact that it is thought to constitute at least 70% of the known universe. Could it be a fluctuating energy field referred to as quintessence? A characteristic of space that Albert Einstein failed to recognize? It is an extremely large quantity of anything. We just do not know what it is. Seven, where is the second sun that we have? According to some estimates, binary star systems make up approximately 80% of all stellar systems. They have a dual sun system. Not in our case, or at least not anymore. Nemesis is the name given to the hypothetical second sun that astronomers believe may have existed in our solar system in the distant past. The findings of more recent study that looked at a cluster of newborn stars in the Milky Way provide some credence to this theory. It would appear that the vast majority of sun-like stars are born in pairs. However, Nemesis will never be solved because we have not yet found a star with the same chemical makeup as Earth's sun. Eight, if there was ever a moon, where did it come from? There is a widely held belief that it was caused by a massive impact caused by a protoplanet colliding with the Earth approximately 4.5 billion years ago and ejecting a piece of debris in the process. However, various explanations continue to be proposed, such as the rather cliché idea that it's an asteroid that got caught up in our planet's gravitational attraction. In any case, nobody can say for sure. Nine, how do stars explode? When stars run out of fuel, they go out with a boom, exploding in a gigantic burst known as a supernova. This is the final stage of a star's life. But despite the fact that studies and technologies such as NASA's Nuclear Spectroscopic Telescope Array have shed light on a significant amount of information on the process, it is still somewhat of a mystery. Fiona Harrison, the principal investigator of the New Star Project at Caltech, stated in her announcement of the findings in 2014 that stars are spherical balls of gas, and so you might think that when they end their lives and explode, that explosion would look like a uniform ball expanding out with great power. Harrison made this statement in response to a question regarding how one might envision the appearance of the explosion caused by a dying star. Our new data indicate how the heart, or engine, of the explosion is deformed, presumably as a result of the inner regions physically slosh around before the detonation. Ten, is there going to be a huge crash in the end? 
The Big Bang is still shrouded in mystery, but that is doubly true of the Big Crunch, which is the end of everything theory that says the universe's ongoing expansion will eventually taper off and give way to gravity. The Big Crunch is a theory that has been proposed to explain why the universe will eventually come to an end. In other words, all of the matter in the universe and all hypothetical multiverses will be drawn together into a space that is progressively more condensed until it all resides in a single point that is unimaginably dense and extremely hot, and then it will be obliterated. It is true that this sounds awful, but hey, it's quite unlikely that this will take place in the next several quadrillion years. This is all for now. Drop your comment below. Check out other videos on our channel. Enjoy.